Hello and welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2021 and another part of our road to world number one with England. Today we take on New Zealand in the first test match of season two as New, New Zealand come and visit us. Hopefully we go out there and we win it. Uh, the big chance now is to, to go and win the test championship that's what we want to do that's what our objective is in this series because if you weren't with us last time out we uh, beat the west indies away from home and now we are um top of the test standard so we've completed the road to world number one aspect of this however we of course have a great opportunity to go out there and perform at our best and win the test championship that's that's what i'm looking to do but anyway uh let's go on we'll pick our first squad of the season of course we've got 18 players because we've we've just had a tour going uh matt parkinson doesn't look like he's had a great season so far so let's go for the first day <clears throat> statistics um anybody struggling hamid is struggling so i think we'll go sibley and crawley to open up uh, Root and Lawrence in there, that looks okay. Although Lawrence not, not doing that great. Mm, we'll keep an eye on that. I think I want Ben Folks to be the, the player that's going to be our wicket keeper going forward. Ollie Port might come in for Dan Lawrence instead. Sam Curran, a very important player. Chris Wilkes is, is gone. Uh, so one more we need to get rid of. So who's it going to be? I mean, Anderson's not looking brilliant, is he? But you have to keep Jimmy Anderson in the squad. Um, hmm. Or do we get rid of Dan Lawrence and not have to decide? Yes, that's what we do. So, here we go then. This is uh, going to be our squad for the opening match of the Test Series. We're going to let Zach Crawley and Dom Sibley have a bit of bat and practice. Ollie Pope is going to get some. And then Sam Curran, um, ball and practice. Anderson, of course, some ball and practice. Stu Broad might well find himself back in. Ollie Robinson as well. So, let's continue on. And let's see what we can do. Pitch groundsman. We are going to go for a seamers pitch against New Zealand and hope for the best. So here we go. Let's play the match and find out. Ben Folks is going to come in. Right. So they reckon Ollie Pope to, to open. I disagree. Um, I think we do want Milan at, at three still. Um, Stokes at five. I mean, Pope could keep. But then that's a very, very long tail, isn't it? And that's a lot of seamers to have in. Uh, Joffre Archer, not, not looking like he's having the best season. Um, do we go J Stuart Broad? Do we have him back? I think we do. Ben Folks at seven, Ollie Pope at six. And that's looking like a much better lineup now. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, right, let's get into the action then. <clears throat> this is our first test match of the English summer. And it's quite worrying, really, when you look at our averages. You look at uh, New Zealand's averages, Ross Taylor in there, um, lay them in there. I mean, every single one of their batsmen, other than Conway, has a higher average than every single player in our team except Joe Root. So... Yeah, you know, New Zealand are going to be very, very tough to beat. So, here we go. We are ready. We're raring to go. Um, we are going to bowl first at the start of this summer. Because we've went for a seamers pitch, we're going to see what we can do with the ball. Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad are going to get us underway. And hopefully, they're not going to make us regret this. Yeah, Anderson in. Oh, and remember, he's one away from 700 test wickets. So, we will be keeping an eye on him. Early on in this match, Anderson into O'Donnell. Not quite. Anderson into O'Donnell again. That's a brilliant ball. And O'Donnell is gone. He's out for 11, and that is Jimmy Anderson's 700th 
test wicket. Absolutely brilliant from him. And uh, Stuart Broad, hopefully he's going to get well, in on the action as well. He will. Conway has gone for 21. And New Zealand are two down now. And Straight there's down. another one. Lay them gone. He's out for one. And Jimmy Anderson starting to get a little bit of confidence out there. And this is why we went for the, the seamers pitch. Because we've got some excellent seam ballers in there. Now okay, we can try and utilise Curran into Stop Williamson. It. Not quite. We'd love to get Williamson out early. Hey, Curran gets his first wicket. Blundell gone. And now Stokes into Kane oh, Williamson. Well. He's gone as well. 81 for five here as we hit the stroke of lunch. 86 for five at the lunch interval then. And uh, that is embarrassing for New Zealand. Oh. Anderson gets another one. Johnson gone for one. And... Man, this is why we bowled first. That's high in the air. There's somebody out there, is there? No, oh, it's going to go the all the, the way up. Back. Over for four. What a pity. Stokes into Jameson. He's out as well. He's gone for 14. Anderson into Tim Southey. That's going to slip down. Leg. So I'm going to bring Jack Leach in now. He hasn't had any chances to bowl yet. Into Ross Taylor. Yet. That's high in the air. There's nobody out there, though. And that's six. Well, unbelievable. I hope Stuart Broad can Soundly beaten. do something good since oh, we've brought good him back and he's out. There you go, Saudi out for 11. Nice to see. Broad doing a, a good job. Leach into Taylor. Beautiful Oof. Broad into Taylor. The bat turned in his hand. Taylor having a good innings here. On 80 now. Looking very, very good. Curran now in the tail up. Oh. That looked like the moment. Tainable day one, 204 for eight. Leach into Wagner. This has to oh. be close. I think he's no, outside the out. line. The that was right so there. unlucky. Look at this. It was a great delivery. Very next ball. Could have another chance here. That's, That's just oh. about unplayable. It's ridiculously good. Curran into Taylor. No, outside leg. Mm. Well. Anderson now into Taylor. Well, and that's gone, Anderson. The change of ball in works. And Anderson looks like he's going to get a five for here. Anderson into Trent Bolt. Not quite. Well, Gets him this time though, and he's gone for four. And Jimmy Anderson, what a ball in innings from him. Five for 46. And on English soil, there's just absolutely nobody better than him. Uh, five for 46 for him, two for 46 for Stuart Broad, uh, one for Curran, and two for Ben Stokes. So, you know, we limited them, but they, they did come back from 86 for six to 233 all out so you know they'll be reasonably confident that they can get back into this match now uh, so we've got to go out there with Dom Sibley and Zach Crawley and show what we're about let's start this English That's summer as shot. we mean to go on of course we've got South Africa coming later in the summer who you would probably say are a, a slightly well tougher challenge than New Zealand but Zach Crawley he's gone for 9 and uh, we are 16 for 1 already That's a beautiful ball so, Sibley needs to show what he's worth. Milan, of course, had a very good innings in the final test match against the West Indies. But other than that, really, really struggled. And Sibley's gone. He's out for 16. It's 36 for 2. End of day 1. And Joe Root comes to the crease. Needing to start his summit. Very well, because South Africa have been the end of many a, a test match captain of England and if he goes into it under pressure could well be the end for him as well oh Milan gone he's out for 24 it was a decent innings but just couldn't keep going and Stokes is gone he's out for 5 so Ollie Pope comes to the crease now well bold um Fine drive, right on. And it's one of them, you know, Ollie Pope Excellent has shot. 
come in. He's under a little bit of pressure. We've preferred him to a uh, Josh Butler. I think that's going to be runs. That's a good shot from Joe Root. This is a, a decent start from both of them. Root very much into the twenties now. And starting to hit a lot of lovely boundaries. There's four for Ollie Pope. And this is a good partnership. Shot four runs. Now it'd be nice for these two to go and grab their 50 lunch interval day two. 134 for four. Uh, 41 and 33. Going along nicely, as I say. We got cool. plenty of time in this Excellent. test match. Pope gone for 35 though. And now Ben Folks comes to the crease. And I wonder if we do just become aggressors now. Brilliant. Oh, Root's gone for 45. Wrong decision, apparently. So we're going to repeat that mistake with Sam Curran because I know That's hit the pads. that he's not a defensive batsman. He will play better if we ask him to attack. Good ball. This looks close. That's gone, though. He's out for eight, and now Stuart Broad comes to the crease. One. Smashing drive. He's really cracked that one. This is good from Ben Fawkes. Good start. Out. But that's a very good delivery. He's out for 26, and New Zealand still in the lead Bit here. And of course, you would expect them oh, to continue to be in the lead now. Brilliant. There you go, Anderson gone for one. And we are 200, uh, sorry, 180 all out. So we now need a very good performance from Jimmy and Stewart, who are opening the ball in, in this second innings. Anderson in O'Donnell, not quite. Broad into Conway. That could be gone. It is gone. Conway out for seven. We get the breakthrough. And hopefully we can get Kane Williamson quickly. Anderson in O'Donnell. Yeah. Not quite. Hmm. Curran into Williamson now. Away at thin air. Team of all day two, 46 for one. And remember, the more runs they score in this innings, the more we have to chase down A huge in the last innings of this match, which is going to be really tough anyway. That was a horrible shot. So we definitely don't want to let them get too far away from us in this innings. These two are batting beautifully. Anderson in O'Donnell. Oh, now, is that going to be a retirement? Happily, he's going to stay on the field. No! <laughs> Hit him harder next time, Jimmy. Well bowled. Jack Leach in O'Donnell. Leach hasn't really done anything yet. That's high in the air. It's caught. He's out for 81. About time. Anderson into Williamson. It's a big shout. Surely that's no. going down. And although Anderson bowled beautifully in the first innings, not quite getting that same that's impact this hit. time. That's high in the air. There's somebody out there this well, time, they... and that's gone. Kane Williamson out for 84, and now... You've got to say, we've got the upper hand, but we need to skittle close. these Australia, uh, New Zealanders fairly and quickly. Broad gets his first wicket. They're appealing. And Blundell's gone as well. Decent spell from Stuart Broad. Anderson into Ross Taylor. <laughs> He's gone. He's out for seven. Brought into Johnson. He's gone as well. This is a decent little partnership from Anderson and Broad. Rolling back the years, but New Zealand have still put far too many on, I think, for us to be able to chase in the fourth innings. Southie gone for 23. And Stokes into Jameson. That's going to be out as well. He's out for 39. Lunch interval day three, three three nine for nine. This is an absolute disaster. Stokes into Bolt. What That's gone as well. And that is that. Stokes ends with figures 
with uh, three for 76. Four for Stuart Broad in that innings. Uh, and I don't think Jimmy got away. Well, he did. He got one wicket, but um, certainly not balling at the standard he was in the first innings. But I suppose that, that comes with age. We need 400 to win in the fourth innings. That is going to be very, very tough. So let's see how we get on. I think we just have to remember time is, is not an object here. But uh, Crawley gone. Now, Sibley, how long can you stay at the crease? Nicely caught. He doesn't miss many. Not very long. He's out for six. It's a nine for two here. Nine for two. Oh, and there. Milan's gone as well. This is embarrassing. 13 for three. Absolutely. Oh, my word. Well. What a mess. Bowled all over the place. If ever we needed a captain's innings, it was then. Good ball. Feel like we now need to attack with Ben Stokes. That's generally the way that we get back into matches now. Is let Ben Stokes just tear it up. And hopefully he'll do that. Oh, he's gone. He's out for 26. It was a decent little cameo, though. By far our top score so far. But now... We're going to need two massive innings just to keep us in the match until day four here. Out to the cricket. Folk's gone for nine. And... Yeah, I mean, bowling for... Oh, my goodness, we nearly declared there. Wow, 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 wow. Um, the mistake was probably bowling first. I just thought, you know, we'd... This could be a boundary. Skittle the, 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 the New Zealanders. And we got them 86 for six, so I think letting them... Score 200 after that was was probably the the, the like moment the match the changed, and well, we're still managing to just about stay in it, but we still need another 300 runs. And Curran was always going to go at some point. And Prod is gone as well. Williamson on a hat trick here. The captain comes in the leech. Oh, Leach plays it well. Well, can Ollie Pope? That's a confident appeal. Do it. Well, Leach has gone, and Jimmy Anderson has just got to survive. Beautiful ball. Oh, good ball. But the problem is, Ollie Pope's not scoring any runs either. There's four. There's another four. Now get your single, and he did do. That was a very nervous looking shot. That's a thick edge. Oof. Edged, but safe. Anderson's got one ball to survive. Oh, Not out. Not out. Not well, got one over left of the day. Kane Williamson in uh, Ollie Pope. This could be out. Oh. One ball left of the day, and Williamson oh, Anderson. The umpire's unmoved, oh, but it must have been close. that must have been very, very close. A pitch just outside leg. That's what saved him. End of day three. <laughs> 141 for nine. We still need 259 to win. Basically, Ollie Pope needs a triple century. And that's it. First ball of day four, and Ollie Pope has let me down. Oh, I mean that was that was an awful defeat. That was that was terrible. That was embarrassing. Um, yeah, yeah, that was that wasn't good. Um, nobody scored a fifty. And I think that that is the problem with our side, you know, unless Joe Root goes and scores a, a massive century um, or Ben Stokes goes and, and whacks it about, we, we don't score enough runs. And, and that's our massive problem. I mean, do we look at, at the current year and, and look at who's batting well in the county game and give the like of Danny Chalmers a, a go? You know, he's looking all right at 20 years old. Do we give him a go? Um, you've got Van Buren. He's 31. He can bowl a little bit. 
but you know, it's not inspiring choices. There's no obvious selection in there. Alistair Cook, of course, but he's retired. Uh, he's had a decent start of the season. Mark Wood, he can bat a little bit when, when he wants to. Mark Stoneman is apparently batting all right, um, but of course didn't do well at a test level. Tom Wesley, again, another player that came into the test side, didn't do well. Tom Banton plays well at, at, at a one-day level. Certainly wouldn't be able to translate that to, to test level. And, and that's where we're at. Sam Northeast, another player. That's that's all right. But just, we're not quite there. We're not quite there. And I think we need some sweeping changes for that match against New Zealand. And, and you know, at top of the list is going to be getting in a batsman that, that can cope with it. Liam Livingston, I don't know, is he the player to, to do it? He's had an okay start with the bat. Ravi obviously isn't playing anymore. Rory Burns, how's he doing this season? 26, you know, didn't have a good year last year either. Um, averaging 14 with a bat, oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just ridiculous really. Dan Lawrence, what's what's he done this year with a bat? Averaging 28. He didn't do an awful lot wrong for the test side, though, did he? Maybe it was a bit harsh. Maybe it was a bit harsh. Well, anyway, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you have, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Cricket Captain content in the future. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.